Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 21st of September 2024. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying life as best you can. Uh, uh, it's Saturday, after, uh, early evening I guess here, or late afternoon slash early evening. And uh, it's been a very rainy day. Um, and uh, more I'll talk about the weather in just a second. Um, I only just realized, only just found out that Shanghai has a population of 30 million people. 30 million people in one city. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Uh, I didn't realize the population was quite that high. Uh, but I just found out after reading an article about the latest tropical storm uh, which hit nearby. Uh, not, not directly, but quite near to Shanghai, and caused 400,000 people to be evacuated in China. Uh, the numbers are, are they, they dwarf just about every everywhere else, I guess. I guess I know India also has large population, but China always seems to dwarf everything when it comes to large numbers of people, doesn't it? Quite astonishing, 30 million people. 400,000 of whom have had to escape the latest tropical storm and it appears that another one is on the way. I was lucky to get out of a deluge today. I just made it to the pool in time, just got into the pool and the rain poured down like crazy and just getting home, I just got home and it poured like crazy again. So I've been very lucky with uh, my timing today when it comes to the rain. I've been quite fortunate. It's one, it's one of those good days, I think. Right, should we play the LA Times L uh, expert level puzzle? Why not? Uh, I can see eight blocking across here, eight blocking across here, eight blocking down here. So eight in one of these two squares blocking down, giving me an eight in that square there. I have uh, five blocking those three squares and five blocking this square here. So in that column, there's our five. Three, six and eight block up here. So that puts three, six and eight into those, into those squares there, doesn't it? Um, there's a three, there's an eight, the sixes, I don't know, but okay, eights are done, sixes then, oh, three and six, okay, so three and six are here, that puts three and six into those two squares because we've got three and six blocking there, so that's three and six, so these two squares can comprise only one or two, and we can't quite say which is which just yet, but anyway, we have a pair of three and six there, let's try to deal with that if we can One, anything else no nothing else is really known is it over here oh well Three blocking down here and three across there put three puts three into one of those two squares. Three going up, up here, across there. Three across here, across there, and up there gives us a three there. So immediately we know that's a, a six.
line down here and there. Uh, so what we can say is 4 and 7 block down here, so 4 and 7 are there blocking up, and so that's 4 and 7. I said this was 1 and 2, so now we know that's got to be a 1 or a 2 as well. So 1 blocking across here gives me the 1 there, the 2 there, and the 2 there. So one blocks up here, one across there, and one across there. There's our one. As I said, this is four and seven, so the remaining digits here are two and something. So the two blocking across there, there's the two. The something which is not four or seven must be five. Five blocking across here and five up there gives us five in that square. So we've got 2 and 7 blocking across here, 2 and 7 blocking across there. That puts 2 and 7 into those squares there. And uh, what else does it mean? 5's block across here, so 5's are in those two squares blocking back here. 5 down there, that has to be a 5. Now this is 2 and 7, so the remaining squares here and here are not 2 or 7, they have to be 8 and something 6. We've got 6 blocking down here, here's the 6, there's the 8. We also have 8 blocking across there, that gives us an 8 in that square. And this is 3. Three blocking down here and across there gives me a three there. Uh, we're looking for four six in those two squares there. Don't have any completed digits yet.
to, where to? Okay, let's make it simple by putting in the pencil marks and finishing the game off. Uh, fours and sevens all everywhere. So let's get on with it. Let's put four and seven into those squares there. Let's put four and seven into those squares there. Let's put four and six into these squares here. Let's put uh, seven and what is it? Two into those squares there. And uh, what else do we know? Four blocks up here, so we have a pair of fours in those squares. We have ones down here. Here we have ones anywhere there. We have uh, fours in those squares, and we have sevens anywhere and down here we have threes in these squares and we have nines in those squares all of this is from memory uh, we have eights uh, like this okay and what else anything else let's just do it properly now then so one down here the twos are there Okay, have I got anything here that's really going to end the game without me going and filling in the rest of the candidates? Uh, I don't know. Do, 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 do. Uh, don't see it, so let's do it anyway, because it's not going to be too arduous. Unlike uh, this morning's game, where I had quite a lot of candidates, I think this is not going to be too bad. Two goes there. Four can go anywhere. Seven blocks this square. And down here, what do we know about the twos? They block like so. Four blocks like this six down the middle and across here seven down the middle again and that's done and then uh, let's have a quick look Okay, so let's finish off then. So two blocks across here like this. Five is done. Six. What do we know about six? Six is 
six blocks across there. Seven. No idea about seven. And nine blocks across the middle. So we get nines like this. Wow, there's a lot of candidates there. I didn't realize there were going to be so many. This block, oh, it's not done yet. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six blocks across here, doesn't it? So six in those squares there. Seven, eight, eight nine time. Okay, and up here, then one is done. Two blocks across the middle. So we get twos in those squares there. blocks across here and there ah oh, a pair of six and nine. Oh, good grief okay there's a pair of six and nine there let's get rid of that two shall we let's get rid of the two and the eight yeah that was very clear wasn't it six, six and nine six and nine I missed it six and nine there okay uh, all right one two three four five six seven eight Nine, so we're all done there. So we've got four, seven. We're left with two, five, eight up here. So that two is not true. We've got a pair of two and five here. So this has to be an eight. That's an eight there. Oh, good grief. Okay. <laughs> good job. I don't worry too much about Sudoku, unlike some people. I seem to take the game very seriously. Uh... Right, what else have I got to do now then? So two can, has to be in one of these two squares. That all of these twos can be removed. This is the only spot where a two can go now. And so those twos can be removed from there as well. Okay, what else is going on? Threes, no change there. Four. Fours have to be in one of these two squares here, so let's get rid of these candidate fours. And five. Only one five available in this column now. It must go there. We'll get rid of those candidate fives. Six. Uh, looking okay, I think sevens. Like I said, there were four sevens all over the shop. Uh, and the eights. Uh, oh, eights are finished. How about that? Nine then. All right, so the rest of it's still to find. Four, seven, six, nine, something's wrong here. Is this the only two in this row, column? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, that's the only two in that column now. Okay, so that's got to be a two there. That's a seven there. Uh, we're over at a one here. I'll get rid of the ones. That can't be a one. Uh, it also can't be something else. Can't be a seven. Sevens to get rid of there. Seven to place up here. Four to go there. Seven in that square. Four in this square. Four here. Six there. So I did miss something easy at the beginning, I will admit. But 
as always, the candidates make it easier to see, right? left ones okay twos looking good threes still okay four yep fives sixes somewhere there's got to be an easy number to be had sevens there we are seven means that that's a six so that's our nine, our six goes here, six, five there, five with a two there, two, seven, seven down there, get rid of those sevens, put a seven there, add a four there, and a four there, and a nine here, and a three there, three there, nine goes here, one is in that square, one is there, six goes there, that's it, it's all over, thank you. So very simple. So yes, as the notation free solvers will point out, there was a six nine pair in those two squares, which is basically the end of the game. So thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you around over the weekend. Take care. Bye bye.